This is your three-day radiation fallout forecast for Friday, February 17, 2012. This forecast will identify the areas of highest potential fallout concern for Canada, the U.S., and Europe over the next 72 hours. In Canada, current radar and weekend forecasts coincide with jet stream overlay for the following two areas, Vancouver and Thunder Bay through Nova Scotia for the weekend. Although the precipitation values are forecasted to be light, breathing damp, moist air should be avoided and children's mouths should be covered if they will be spending any time outdoors. In the U.S., the jet stream is continuing its current pattern with a rise towards the southern coast of Alaska today. The coastal regions of the west should exercise caution if precipitation does occur. The heaviest rain is forecasted in the following states based on NOAA three-day precipitation tables. East Texas, South Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia. This pattern may dip into Florida once again and continue up the East Coast through Maine. In Europe, an Arctic vortex shift is causing continued cold with jet stream involvement. The following cities in Europe have rain or snow forecasted for the weekend. Glasgow, Dublin, Berlin, Warsaw, Helsinki, and Brussels. Nuke Report. The NRC website has the following event listed for the Davis-Bessey plant in Ohio on February the 16th. There was a total loss of the safety parameter display system in the control room and emergency response center. As this problem continued for over eight hours, the State of Ohio Emergency Management Agency was notified. It was 18 hours before the problem was resolved. This is the same plant which discovered a 30-foot crack in its cement containment of one of the reactors in the fall of 2011 and was allowed to continue operating by the NRC. The frequency of these events in safety and cooling systems at various new plants around the U.S. and elsewhere is a great concern. The recent increase in solar activity as well as seismic activity can affect these plants as well. Please refer to a map for the safety of your loved ones so if an incident occurs at a plant near you, you have a plan of where to avoid any radioactive releases. This can be as minimal as staying indoors or as major as long-term relocation, depending on the seriousness of the event. That, unfortunately, is the reality of humans coexisting with nuclear power. For more information, please visit FukushimaFacts.com for links to the EPA and NIRDAP fallout monitors, mitigation tips, and other links as to where nuke plants are located. This message has been brought to you by Radchick and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.